Dolphins, field stretching tight end. You always need eyes on him. Fourth most catches in the NFL. It's the Dolphins and the Packers coming up next. First opened in 1957. Welcome inside what's still one of the great stadiums of the NFL. Legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, home of the Packers. Good to be with you, Mike Tirico, Greg Olton here in the booth. Greg, we got a couple of teams who love to throw the football. And you know how guys say, hey, we're not going against the other offense. We're going against the other team's defense. Greg, these star wide receivers, you know they're watching what the other guy does on the field here today. Oh, in their minds, there's no question. They are competing against one another. And I think that's what makes this league so fun is when these guys, they know each other, they study each other, they work together in the off seasons. A lot of times they're friends. But come game day, there is no question. At the end of this one, yes, they want their teams to win. But when they put their two box scores up next to... So pleased to have you along. This should be a good one. We're set. And off we go here on EA Sports. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Green Bay offense set to go to work for the first time. And they're led by the man who waited his turn, the 2020 first-rounder, Jordan Love. If his preparation for this game is any indication of how he's going to perform today, Mike, they're going to be hard to beat. He played really well last week, but when we talked to his coaches, they told us, they're like, he has lived here all week. He has taken his level of play even up another notch. And if he can continue to operate this system, continue to get all of his weapons involved, this leadership, this ability to lead by example, it's going to rub off on the rest of this offense. I think they're going to have a good chance of changing from last week's loss to coming away today with a victory. He's going to run it. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Off the play fake. Here's Love. He's going to go deep. Looking for Reed. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast. And tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. The Miami offense will make their way onto the field. They'll be let out by the young man in his second season in the NFL. You'd love to see the biggest jump of a young quarterback's career, Mike, being between year one and year two. I mean, you think about what these young quarterbacks go through entering their rookie year. They have the entire pre-draft process. Then the idea of being drafted and going to a new organization and learning what it means to play quarterback in the NFL. Well, in year two, everything's not new. Everything's not a first experience. It allows them to just take a deep breath, play, develop, rely on what got you here. We see so many quarterbacks in year two really have their breakout campaigns and show, frankly, why they were the starter to begin with in the rookie year. Here's third down and a few inches. Here comes a reverse. Trying to get to the edge. He will not get there. As a matter of fact, he was taken down behind the line. And that brings up fourth down. The idea here for this offense is you're not really thinking necessarily touchdown. You're thinking first down. Let's get a fresh set of downs here and reset. But in this case, they suffer a loss. And it brings up fourth down. Took a pretty good lick at the end of that one. Josh Jacobs and the Packers offense heading back onto the field. He has run the ball.
try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. Here's a second and 12. He'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he's going to be swallowed up again. Back-to-back -back runs, back-to-back -back losses. Now it is third down. This play here, Mike, is just all about the get-off of the defensive line. Watch how fast they go when that ball is snapped. Nowhere for this running back except to go down for a loss. From the gun, it's Love. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively. Setting up a fourth down. Packers set to kick this one away. And he's on to punt for the second time in this opening quarter. Now, fair catch is taken back inside the 40. The Dolphins offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and 10. Quick throw here is complete. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. He'll look to throw. We're trying to pick this up on third and eight. Shotgun snap. He'll look to throw. That catch number 40 on the season for him. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. I think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. But I don't think it's going to be his last. Contact up front. Can they get one of the defenders to jump? Still first down. So a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. Putting the tight end in motion. Now they'll set up to throw. Move this ball way down into the red zone inside the 20 yard line. A pickup there of 25 yards. First down, Miami. A shotgun handoff to right. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's a second and six. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. Quick throw, taken in. He is in. Touchdown, Dolphins. Touchdown number seven for him on the year. Here's Jake Elliott for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Dolphins will take a 7-0 lead. Seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. This will be returned from the six. Now an opening has the 30. They finally get him down, but he gets all the way up close to the 40-yard line. 
the Packers offense back onto the field for their next possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. On play action, Love. That one on target to Watson. A big gainer for Green Bay. 31 yards. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. You could see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. On first down, it's Love. That's caught downfield. Dodge. He's taken down just shy of the 10. 19-yard pickup there. Good for a Green Bay first down. First and 10 at the 11-yard line. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. And he's able to gain yardage out of this one before he slides. Now second and six at the 7-yard line. We are through one. It's the Dolphins with the early lead. And we're back at Lambeau Field in just a moment. On second down, Love to the end zone there, but it is incomplete. Dayton Reed was the intended target. And it's going to bring up a third down. Here's Love. And he's in. Romeo Dobbs. Touchdown, Green Bay. To try forthcoming. His kick is good, and the Packers will level things out at seven apiece. So back to level after the touchdown. Time for the kickoff. A return now from the four. He'll get across the 20, mark him down at the 23-yard line. The Dolphins offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And as we move into the second half of the season, he continues to put up the big numbers. Currently the NFL's leader in passing as we play here in the month of November. On play action, he'll set up to throw. And that one wrapped away. It's incomplete. So the defense comes out in a cover two shell. What that means, Mike, is the two safeties are going to split the field in half. One guy has one half, and the other guy has the other. There are abilities to get down the middle of the field, especially if you have speed. But really where you can attack it is they don't have enough guys to defend all of the underneath zones. And if you run the right concepts with the right quarterback, you can pick them apart. down. They'll set up to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively. Setting up a fourth down. Another punt brings another look at Ryan Stonehouse to kick. He'll punt for the second time after hitting a beauty in his first effort. And that's a nice job of making things more manageable for this offense as he takes it back beyond the 25-yard line. The Packers offense and Romeo Dobbs heading out for their next possession. First and 10. They'll start on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. Love. That'll be intercepted. That's the 
the safety, Buda Baker. And he's going to give a short field to his offense here as they try to break the top. You know, like any time a team can go nickel or dime and come off the field with an interception, I just am constantly reminded of the importance of defensive back depth when you're building an NFL roster. I mean, think back. This is not the old NFL base 3-4, base 4-3. Offenses are going to roll out two, three, four high-level wide receivers at you in this pass-first modern era. If you can't roll out five DBs and all of them hold their own and be trusted to hold up, you are going to struggle defending these pass-first modern offenses. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Second and a yard. Back to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. They'll look to throw. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. They'll send the tight end in motion right. In the red zone now. He'll drop to throw. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. And he's in. Jalen Wright. Touchdown, Miami. Elliott on now for the PAT. He gets it to go. And the Dolphins will move out to a 14 to 7 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. A safe kick taken at the five. Solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. Packers offense ready to get back at it. They trail now 14-7 as they'll come up for first and 10. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Love to throw. Right side, catch made by Dobbs. Well, he's brought down, that pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. A good play action with Love. That'll be caught, it's Josh Jacobs. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks, and now they got a fourth down decision to make. A fair catch called for and made just beyond their own 50. The Dolphins offense and running back Jalen Wright headed back to work. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and 10. Right away, they'll set up to throw. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. They'll try again here, second and 10. the gun with Wright and drawing some moves and odds from the crowd 
Sidestepping his way. Nifty gain of nine there. They'll look to pick this up. Third and a yard. They're going to motion the tight end over here. going to be brought down right on that yellow line to the official signal. He's got enough for the first down. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring him for a huge game. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. He's going to lose a yard. Two minutes to go here till halftime. Back with more from Lambeau Field. After this, second and 11. Now this time, they'll look to throw. To the left side, in the hands of Hill. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. He'll drop to throw. That'll be caught. It's Jalen Wright. 18 yards on the pickup there. Good for a Dolphins first down. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that. Be a bit of a letdown. And he can hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They'll look to throw yet again. And he finds Tyreek. And nice work after the catch. He stopped a little short of the first down marker. But it is a pickup of nine. try and throw for it on third and one. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Now the Dolphins going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. First and ten now from the 36. To the air one more time. Got his receiver on the in cut. He's got it. Well, it wasn't the most exciting throw, today, but I want you to watch, Mike, is the suddenness of the route run. Change of speed, change of direction. Those are the qualities of great route runners, and this guy's certainly one of them. Give him 13 on that screen play. And a first down. And a They'll look to throw again. Quickly to the outside and complete. Now Miami going to use the second of their timeouts. And the stoppage comes with 23 seconds left on the first half clock. Now faking the give. Over the top. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. That's a two-touchdown game for him. Numbers seven and eight for the season. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start in this one. Two quarters and two receive. And I believe the referee was buzzed by the replay Previous officials, indicating let's get a closer look at this. They trigger this automatically in the last two minutes of the half. So, ruled a touchdown originally. They didn't find any reason to overturn it, and it stays on the board. The kick is good. Makes the score Dolphins 21, Packers 7. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. 
And the kickoff's coming their way. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out. So he'll take over at the 30-yard line. The Packers offense going to get it one last time here late in the opening half. They trail by two touchdowns, so time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. Here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Love. This is taken in by Dobbs. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. On first down, it's Love. That's to Dobbs again. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Love to throw on first and 10. And they're going to get to him and take him down. Taken back to the other side of midfield. That's the end of the first half. So we're at the half, the and the visiting Dolphins, Dolphins are in the lead. As we'll get you down to Orlando now, that's with the coaches, Jonathan Coachman, and our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Michael, we'll get back to you and Greg in just a little bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. And it's the Lions who are out in front as they play the second quarter. Jared Goff has thrown a touchdown pass. From there, we're off to Tennessee to check on the Titans at home in Nashville. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Indianapolis Colts. The Titans locked in a tight one, but this is a game you feel they've got to have. Finally, let's get down to Houston. Check on the Texans at home at NRG Stadium. And they currently trail in that game against the visiting Patriots. The Pats looking to sew that one up, and they look to be in pretty good shape. We watched a solid performance out of running back Jalen Wright. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break. But I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks for yet to come. Played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go, and the second half is underway. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Dolphins offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. He's building a case for the MVP. He is the leader in the NFL in touchdown passes as we move into the back half of the season. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. Here's a ball thrown deep right sideline. That'll change things. Out of bounds inside the 35. A big one there to start the second half. 41 yards. Well, I think it's pretty clear what the halftime message was from the coach, Mike. He said, I want to come out in this second half and deliver an early blow. Come out swinging. Well, I think they've made that statement pretty clear here to start the third quarter. If they can finish this drive off with a touchdown, I think they'll have done just that. And that one's going to be shut down quickly. A minimal game. Now they'll set up to throw. This throw right side is caught by him. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Off the play pick, he'll look to throw. That is caught. And he's got another one. Touchdown, Miami. That is his third touchdown of the game and his ninth for the year. And that is the hat trick. What a game. His third touchdown reception of this one. And nothing they've done to slow him down has worked, Mike. This defense, they're throwing multiple guys at him. They're playing man. They're playing zone. It doesn't matter. This guy is having his way, and he's having a day.
the kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Now return coming from the seven. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. This offense ready for their next possession, led by their running back. And he's had trouble getting on track in this one. Really limited space to find an opening. The defensive front stopping him multiple times. Generally, he has not been a big factor in this game to this point. Love to throw it on first down. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. This one on target, it's Dobbs. And he'll be stopped short of the first down. He's able to look it in and get forward for a pickup of about eight. From the gun, on third down, it's Luck. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Off the play fake. Here's Love. This one is caught by Reed. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. At the 39 yard line. A second down throw for Love. Ah, the pressure too much. And he goes down. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. That is incomplete. Well read that time defensively, making it difficult downfield. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. On comes the Packers punting team. As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And no return on this one. Fair catch signal for and take it. The visitors offense and their quarterback coming out for drive number two. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. On the bootleg, he'll look to throw. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. Quick throw, taken in. And it'll be taken down just shy of the 30. On first and ten, they'll set up to throw. Oh, yeah. And he's going to take this all the way to the house. 71 yards. Touchdown, Miami. Make it four touchdowns for him on the afternoon. So that one, his fourth touchdown catch of the game. That is one behind the single game NFL record. On is Elliott to add the extra point. He's got it. And the Dolphins will extend this third quarter lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. This one taken at the seven. And 
he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. Out comes the Green Bay offense now as they get set to take over again. They are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and 10. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Brings up second and two at the 34-yard line. On the bootleg, it's Love. A throw on the move is caught. And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. That's good for a Green Bay Packer. A run up the middle with Jacobs. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. Second and seven. Now Love. They go sideline, and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. On the ground, it's Jacobs. Trying to avoid tackles there, but the ball is out. So the biggest thing that stands out here, Mike, is the fact that the defense just continues to pursue the ball. Every defense focuses on get as many hats to the ball carrier as possible because if the guy in front of you, he misses the tackle or he falls down, you have to be there to make up for it. And the pursuit to the ball is not only how they're able to get him down, it's ultimately how they're able to take the ball away. Out comes Miami and the offense to get started on their next drive. And as we look back at some of the highlights of this one, Greg, definitely a lot to show from the passing game. Yeah, and as good as the offense feels about their passing game, I think if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you've got... And remember now, all turnovers must be reviewed by replay. So this one is going to need a little closer look. At issue was the knee, or any other body part except the hand, down before the ball comes loose. And are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field? So that one overturned. They say the runner was down, and that will not be a fumble. So three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. From the gun, here comes Jacobs. The speed on display. He's in. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Packers. Well, it's not going to be enough, but at least they find the end zone at the end of a hard week's work. This will pay off with a touchdown, right? Mike, you can just chalk this one up in the column of too little, too late. Give credit to this offense for not going down without a fight, but they're not going to have enough time to find themselves back in this point. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Here he is, Tyreek Hill back to return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Another really nice throw right there. And as you can see the numbers he's been able to put up here, I'm a little surprised, if I'm being honest, Mike, with just how easy it seems to have been. It just seems like he's made every right decision every time that he's decided to throw the ball. On the give, it's right. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. And they're going to bring him down, but there is a penalty marker on the field.
They'll look to throw. Quick throw, out wide. It's caught. That's how to dig yourself out of a hole. A pickup of 18. Much more manageable. Third and two coming up. He'll look to throw. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. And he's going to pick up the first down. He knew where that marker was and made sure he got beyond it. Hill brought in motion. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. That's a gain of 15. Good for a Dolphins first down. Motioning the tight end now. Head up. This is right. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Receiver in motion, headed left. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And it'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. And the Dolphin first down. A give here to right. And it'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. A pickup of 12 yards. Good for a Dolphins first down. Back to throw. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. A carry here for right. He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. The big guys in the middle of the defense, Mike, the defensive tackles. So often they're asked to do the dirty work. Keep the blockers off the linebackers. Let them run around and make all the plays. But in this case, this guy's able to shed his blocker, make the stop, and keep it to no gain. Catch number seven so far in this one. And a first down. I know, I know, I'm biased. But listen, you can't convince me, Mike, that there's a better option on the field, especially when you got a guy like this, than on third down or critical moments. That's where the ball needs to go. The size, the speed, the matchup problems that he creates. If I was in a critical situation, there is no doubt where I'm going with him. And he is crushed in the backfield. Defenders firing through. Shut it down right away for a loss of yard. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. On second and goal, they'll give him another shot. So when you're evaluating the impact of a team's run, I think it's important at the end of the game to look back and say, okay, how many yards did they run for? But more importantly, when did those yards come? Did I run for those yards in the fourth quarter, which typically means I had the lead? That's the sign of a successful run game as opposed to getting a lot. That one, take it in, middle of the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. And he continues to be a focal point of this offense. Now 10 touchdown catches for him on the year. Elliott now for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Dolphins will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. The return starts from the five. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The home team's offense make their way out to take over once more. Things not looking good. 
But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. Back to throw is Love. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Throwing on second down, Love. Quickly to the outside and complete. He's taken down but just shy of midfield. Set to go now on first and ten. From the gun, it's Love. And this drive is a disaster. He goes down for a third consecutive time. This is a great reminder of why it's so important to have great offensive tackles. When you get beat so fast off the edge, the quarterback has nowhere to go in the pocket to escape, and that's what happens. On second down, Love. This one complete. Right side, it's Watson. A pickup there of 19 yards. First down, Packers. Now Love. The open man is Reed. He's got it. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Here we go. One final play. That is hauled in at the five. And he's going to be brought down. So a win here for the visiting Dolphins. In a game that was expected to be a cakewalk, pretty much turned out that way. Their class just much the best in this one as they cruise to an easy road victory. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everyone.